In this video, we are going to discuss about how to write a data insert search update query statement for a given problem and how to write a join query to join the table. So, first of all, we will see the requirements and move to the database side. So, the requirement is two new students have been admitted to grade 11 of this school. Their details are listed in the table below. Enter that information in the student table. So we need to enter these two students' details to the student table. This is the continuation of the exam DB database. So I already have created the relevant ER diagram and forward engineer it to a database and also have insert some data, student data. And this is the class table, exam term table subject uh, table and the student exam mark record table. So in the student table, we are going to add the relevant student data. I mean the details of the students. So we will add the students details. The index number is 009 and the first name is Amandi with Amandi last name Imala Sena sorry Vijay Singh gender female and the relevant contact details of the student Amandi. And the class ID, whether it is 11A or 11B. So it's 11A, so ID number 1. Now I have entered the student Amandi's details with the index number, first name, last name, gender, contact now, and the class ID. So likewise, we'll enter the student tens details also yeah I added the Natasha that means STU 10 index no students details Natasha okay and the requirement 1 is fulfilled we'll move on to the requirement 2 index no STU 004 students last name should be changed to Moses write the relevant SQL query so here we must write an update query to update the student's last name into Moses. So we write the update query. Update the student table now. So we must mention the student update student set last name to Moses last name must be set to Moses where we must write a condition where student index no we see in the data side we are the index index no we are the index no must be equal to STU004 and in the command and the student last name is updated we will see in the data side where the student STU4 last name Tilak Ratna will be now changed to Moses now here it is changed to Moses so requirement 2 also fulfilled 
Now we'll move on to the next requirement. Natasha Vimala Sena students, contact note should be changed to note double seven. This required contact note. So here we will see that the here also an update query. Natasha. They have given the last name also. No? So here Natasha's I will edit this contact no contact no should be equal set to this contact no where first name equals to Natasha and the last name equals to human assignment. Last name equals to human assignment. We will run the query. The query has been executed. Now we see, we will see Natasha Vimana Sena's current number is this. Now it will be updated. Why it has not been updated? Vimana Sena Natasha. Not the word. Wait. Uh, here there is a mistake here they have given Natasha and here they have given Natasha so it's there is a error in the query no the in the requirement now we will see now we will see now it has been updated there is a small error in the question that means the requirement so we will move on to the next requirement Natasha Vimala Sena transferred schools before the first term examination therefore remove the information about the student from the student table so we must remove not remove Natasha uh, Natasha Vimala Sena from the student table we will remove using Delete query. Delete from student where we need to delete all now. So we will select all. Delete all from student where first name equals Natasha. Natasha and the last name equals Vimala Sena. Equals Vimala Sena. We will execute. That's an error SQL syntax. Wait, we will see what is there. Ah, 
uh, here I made a mistake I mentioned all we can't mention all when we are deleting so sometimes the student table also may get deleted so it's not a safe query this is the safe query we will execute this and see I, the, the, the Natasha has been now deleted we will see from the data side we will refresh and see Natasha student Natasha is deleted from our student table now we will move on to the next requirement find out the details of all the students in the school then we need a select query for this so here select we need students details only no? find out details of all students all students no? select all all from student student all from student select all from student sorry here this is the student details in our result output of the HDSQ here all the student details are mentioned here we will move on to the next requirement the next requirement is find the marks of mathematics subject of all the students in the first term so here we must find the marks of mathematics subject of all students in the first term so here we need two tables to find the values or the data required we need the subject table and the term table and we must inner join both so here we must use inner join keyword to find the answer so we will select we need select no select mark from we need to find mark so exam exam here we need to find the student mark from the student exam mark record student exam mark record in a join in a join we will in a join the subject table first student exam mark record dot we need the subject id oh, no. before I In a join, we must mention what table. In a join, subject table. Subject table on. We must men mention on to avoid Cartesian. In the previous video, I have explained what is Cartesian. We need to see whether the student exam mark record table subject subject id equals to the subject tables subject id and we need to inner join the inner join the term table also that means the exam term table exam term inner join exam term inner join exam term on where student 
mark record student mark record exam term id equal to the term exam term tables id exam exam term tables id condition must be where subject subject dot subject name equals mathematics and exam term exam term dot term name equals first term Here there must be select all from mark, not all from mark. Ah, there is no table mark, no so select mark from yes, yes, this is right. And the exam term is term name equals to first term. We will mention first term. Whether is it capital or simple? I have mentioned in the data. Term first term. We will execute this sentence. Uh, this is the mark of the all students. Uh, mathematics marks of the all students in the first term. Code in the first term. So we will move on to the next requirement. I will show you the exam term record marks also. Yeah, the exam data here. The first term 50 for max. For max it's 50, then it's 80, then it's 78, then it's 90. Yeah. 38, 90, 45. Okay, all the marks is shown in the mark. With the mark column. We will move on to the next requirement. Find all the marks obtained by all the students in the first term in Sinhala language and literature. So, here only small edit. We can edit this only small changes. We need to find the mark where the uh, subject is Sinhala language and literature and term is same term. So we will edit the subject. Now we will see. Execute and see. Uh, this is the marks of the Sinhala marks of the students in in the subject Sinhala and the term is the term is first term. We'll see whether the result is correct. Sinhala language and literature. First uh, term 78 uh, year 75. 85 we'll see whether it is correct 78 75 85 okay the result is correct we'll move on to the next requirement amandi vijay singh has entered another school from this school before the first term examination due to receiving of scholarship therefore 
remove the information on the student from the student table. So we must delete the delete among the Vijay Singh all details. Very clear delete. This is the query where I used to delete Nata Natasha Vimala Sena. We will use this query and delete Amandi also because they have given only the first name and last name as the condition. So we can use this query. We have first name equals Amandi and last name equals Vijay Singh. Okay, we will execute. Now we will see whether Amandi has been deleted from the student table. Yeah, this is the student table. And now Amandi has been deleted from the student table. So that's all for this video. Thank you. Have a nice day.